Hello everyone, welcome to Powerful Summit 2021. Hope you're all doing well and safe with your friends and family. Thanks for joining this session. This is a uh, video on demand session. So thanks for uh, coming here and checking out my session. My session is about uh, PowerShell Crescento. It's it's basically for uh, uh, PowerShell users, dedicated to PowerShell users, and it's a new uh, open sourced module to create uh, PowerShell module for uh, for any kind of executables. So let's start. So my name is Russell, and that's my Twitter handle. Uh, I work uh, as a software technologist for Philips, and I'm just another PowerShell fan. Uh, once again, this is my Twitter handle. Uh, I am a PowerShell community contributor. I contribute to PowerShell Core and few other PowerShell uh, open source modules. Uh, this is my Twitter account. And apart from all these, uh, I am a moderator at PowerShell Org forums. I hope all uh, all of you are aware of PowerShell Org forums. That's where uh, uh, we all help and get help to each other, right? It's basically in a forum. So it's dedicated for PowerShell and there are a lot of categories like Pester, DSC, and for getting trainings, uh, for books, all those things. So I highly recommend to check it out. And we have recently upgraded the website and the forums and forums are super awesome, the, super awesome with the new, uh, new uh, forum site. Yeah, so uh, I have an agenda here and agenda is just to keep me uh, in the flow. The, 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 there is no much PPTs after agenda, let's just two more after the agenda slide. So first we'll start about just a small definition of, uh, on, on what is partial crescendo. Uh, then, then mostly for people like me will be having a question uh, about do we really need it? So we'll, I, I will have my opinion about it. Then we'll see uh, where uh, Crescendo is now, like the current state of Crescendo. Then there are a couple of discussions happening uh, in GitHub space for Crescendo. So we'll, uh, we'll see a little bit about that as well. So uh, PowerShell Crescendo is an open source PowerShell module. It's actually a PowerShell module which is used to convert uh, any executables. It can be either Windows or Linux because it's in PowerShell uh, 7. So any uh, executables uh, to PowerShell commandlets. Basically, it creates a PowerShell module and a wrapper commandlet uh, for converting the output to PowerShell objects. So it requires a couple of things, like it requires a JSON configuration file uh, it's it's either authored in JSON and it has some attributes. It has a schema which I'll be showing later. So that JSON config file will have the um, configuration for that commandlet. And of course, it requires uh, some sort of coding to convert uh, the output of the executable to PowerShell objects. So Crescendo does not do any other magic. It just a sim it's just a simple, straightforward module to convert the text output to PowerShell object. So of course we need a code. We need some sort of uh, coding to do that, right? Yes, we need. So then comes the question, right? Then why do we need a module, right? I have uh, an exe. It has an output, and I already have a wrapper script, or somebody has written a wrapper script. Then why do I need Crescendo, right? I have the script which does the job uh, of converting it to a partial object, then of course, then, then we don't need to use Crescendo. If, if that is the only thing we want, this, then we don't need to do Crescendo. Uh, but uh, the advantage comes like uh, when we have a framework like Crescendo. To do that, then uh, one advantage is uh, like if Crescendo has a capability uh, or, or something like uh, a method like to string for all the string objects, right? So if Crescendo has something like that, like all the uh, outputs or any output uh, of a command like created using Crescendo will be having a common method or a property, then that will be available for all the Crescendo commandlets, all the Crescendo generator commandlets, right? So to have to avail such a capability, we should be using a framework like Crescendo. 
and another uh, use case where I see Crescento is going to be very very helpful is uh, there are a lot of well-known EXEs handles is one example right it's from sysinternals and there are a lot even in sysinternals so uh, many of us are using those uh, EXEs so so if I have uh, written a wrapper code uh, to convert uh, the handle exe output to partial object it will be mostly with with me and I, I, I would have even published it online but when we have uh, a module or, or a framework which is well structured like Crescento it's very easy to um, document the uh, use cases and document the expectation in github and just publish it online uh, open source it so anyone can come in and contribute their own piece so it's going to get more matured right so in that way a well-structured uh, framework is going to be very very useful uh, going I mean um, down the line uh, the commandlet or the module which we write for an exe like handle uh, will become mature enough so that anyone can download it and use it so that's one another advantage which I uh, see in uh, partial crescent so that's all about PPTs for the demo. Let's switch uh, to, to VS Code where I am, where I'll be showing the rest of the demo. Okay. So we'll straight away start by importing the Crescent module, and I'm I'm using a splatting here, and the destination module uh, is going to be uh, stored in my temp directory, uh, and uh, of course I'm going to have a module for handles exe <clears throat> so i have named it handles.psm1 this will be the module name as you as we are all aware and yeah so i have imported and let's start so let me open uh, the json uh, configuration which is required for presento so i have this json here yep so Yeah, so first one you can see <clears throat> it's a schema which is required uh, from what I know as of now schema validation is not happening for Crescendo at the time I'm recording this video so uh, first thing is first attribute is verb of course the commandlet will have a verb and a noun right so these are those two so I'm going to name this commandlet get handle and uh, the third one is mandatory these three are mandatory and are, the, are only uh, the mandatory uh, keys for Crescendo, Crescendo JSON configuration. So original name is actually the uh, native executable or the executable path that you want this command, this command let to call uh, under the hood. So I'm using the handle exe from sysinternal suite and description is what it, it, what it will show in the help as the description for this command line and next comes the parameters right parameters so I'm going to have a parameter with parameter name is name and we can or we have to or specify the parameter type which is string in this case and of course we do have parameter set names right so this is going to be in default parameter set name the set name can be anything so normally we will have a default parameter set right so I'm uh, not doing anything different. So I'm just having a default parameter set name here Then the original name, right? So what is original name? Original name is the actual uh, parameter Which will be passed equivalent to this parameter for this exe for example ipconfig so ipconfig if I'm using ipconfig and if I want to use that slash all uh, the command let parameter will be just all hyphen a l l but the original name will be slash ALO. So it's the equivalent uh, parameter for the exe. In this case, it's positional, so there is no parameter, so it is going to be null. And the position of uh, this parameter for this commandlet, uh, this will be this will be the first one, so it's zero. And whether it is mandatory or not, in a, in my case, it's mandatory. So uh, pretty much all the parameter attributes can be specified here. Then the original command elements, right? Something interesting. Uh, this is a key where we can specify um, any any switches or parameters which is required for this 
executable by default like if you want to have something that is always required for the exe this is the place where we will specify them so in this case uh, as we are we know that this internals uh, exes will have a banner on the author and the year where uh, it, it's uh, released so uh, in our case it makes uh, the output difficult to pass right it's all about string manipulation so uh, there is a switch uh, available for uh, handle exe which is hyphen no banner and uh, similarly there is one for ignoring the uh, end users users license agreement so i'm using both always so it's specified in this original command elements then comes the output handlers yeah, one of the important um, key for crescendo if we have parameters so output handlers is the place where we will specify the wrapper the code which will convert the output to whatever way we want output to partial objects basically so it is per parameter set name it as sub array as you can see the square brackets here so this handler is for default parameter set so handler will take the code directly as a string in JSON it's like inline or embedded code so uh, this just takes one parameter <coughs> we can write it like any script but as of now it takes one parameters and all the string output will be given to this parameter and then it's all about manipulating the string output since we have mentioned no banner and accept ULA it will be a little easy to parse it it, it, it depends on the output of this exe so I found the handle exe output pretty much easy to parse. So if it's a JSON, it's it's a matter of convert JSON, right? Convert from JSON. So yeah. So let's see this in action. So let me define this path. And what happened? I didn't define this. Yeah, so this is the command line which is in Crescendo module which you will use and this is the Crescendo module has a couple of command lines which I will show but this is the only command line which is which is going to be used. So let's see it in action. Yeah, so it has generated the module and the module path is this one. So let's import the module and see what's in it get command module handles yeah as you can see we have a command let called get handle and let's see what's in it get help get handle yes we have this index here get handle with the name parameter and as for all other all partial command lets we have common parameters as well so let's see what we are going to get if we use if you use PowerPoint, PowerPoint, I had PowerPoint open here. So it's going to take same time, uh, which will be taken by, sorry, it's not get help, oops. Okay, it's get handle, get handle name, PowerPoint. So it's going to take the same time, which will be taken by handle.exe, because it's executing that behind the scenes. So, Yes, I think we are going to get a small list because I have just one PPT opened. Yes, we have only one process using uh, the handle with the path PowerPoint. See, it's an object, right? Oops, I didn't. I should have captured it in a variable. But it's nicely formatted output. Otherwise, handle exe gives plain text. It's similar, but it's in plain text. This time we are going to have an object. Mm, yeah, so we'll see the type. It's custom object because that's how I'm creating it as an object in, in, in the JSON file. And I can take path, I can take type. Because it's a partial object, everything is going to be uh, uh, accessible like properties and methods. Let me see members for that object. 
so that's how we use crescendo module to create command light but let's see what's in the module right what's in that module we just generated so it's just just a function in a psm1 file you can see the header module created by crescendo and uh, this is what we have given in the json as your wrapper code right it has a crescendo has a structure just like pre-written strings by replacing the variable names so the dollar handler is replaced with the code which you have written in the json file in line to convert it to powerful ps custom object of course we can add our own type and to all and to anything which we do in powershell so finally it's getting executed here right it's getting executed here by passing whatever you have passed positionally this is the line where it get executed and you can see we have specified only the description so it comes here as the command and help so it's very simple and there is nothing that we need to do here because it's automated automated and automatically generated and it it works it works and these are the default command acts no banner and no um and uses license agreement to be shown okay so let's move on okay before going further let's see what's in the crescento module how does it convert it has a lot of things but the one which i'm going to show is just the command class because this is the one which does job right we used export crescento module command led and it's basically calling import command configuration i'm not going to go, uh, go through all the methods so you can see here this is just converting the json and the core part of uh, crescento is in converting it to a uh, this one converting it to a de while deserializing the json it just gives the type which is the command type which is created in this in, in this uh, context so command class has all the things which we need for a partial commandlet it has the verb name verb noun um, aliases description parameters examples everything which will be there mostly for a command so commandlet so that's where the magic happens once it is deserialized then we are going to get an object and then it's a matter of converting that object to string so when we convert that object to string we'll get we'll get what we have seen in the psm1 file which is generated that's all it just saves it as a psm1 file and i'm proud to say that this is a couple of this is a piece of code which i have created to have a validation on the uh, powershell code which is uh, embedded in the json file okay so let's move on let's move on and see another one with two parameters so i have one here with two parameters you can see it's the same command let get hyphen handle same handle exe but i'm going to have two parameters here one is the same uh, name parameter and another one is summary so handles to have a summary feature where summary switch where we'll get all the um, type and count of the handles used for that type like we have file type event type registry type handles so all the handles so type uh, hyphen s we, is going to be a switch parameter so uh, the parameter in the module is going to be hyphen summary so that's an, uh, a parameter name here for this command line summary and it's going to be a switch parameter and i'm going to create another parameter set name which is summary because both cannot be used together so it should be in a, another parameter set and the original line like nothing here it, it is hyphen s here hyphen s is going to get passed for a handle exe so description for i mean the help description for this parameter and since we have two parameter sets we should have a default parameter set name and which is a valid uh, property a valid key for json or the crescendo json configuration so i have default as the default parameter set name then original command elements are same then comes the output handlers so we need 
one for both right so the existing one for uh, the uh, pattern search the normal one and another one for summary so this handler will convert the summary output summary output in plain text to powerful object then comes yeah i have added examples here so we have an example key where we can have array of examples for presenter module when we do get help so here comes the command command is what we see in example with ps colon and uh, angle brackets the command right so this is what the what, what will be shown there and the description is the output which we'll see in the example and original command something new in an example because it's crescendo right so we had to see we had to show what will be the original command when we execute this without powershell so it's handly xc hyphen s so all this will be shown in help so i have one for uh, summary and i have one for uh, the normal one just pattern so let's execute and see this in action uh, defined the variable find the parameter for the new JSON export 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 it's not working it's not working yes f8 is not working then import I will have to copy paste import then let's see let's see get help uh, get handle handle you can see uh, uh no it didn't because it didn't execute right let me do it again get help get handle no okay i'm executing the same sorry this right Yes. Yes. Get help. Get handle. You can see two parameters. One is name, and another one is summary. So name is same. What we have seen. Let's see. Summary. It's really pretty cute. See, we got all the type. A lot of unknown types. We have file. We have event. We have. Uh, processes with a lot more handles so yeah this is a powerful object if you can select or measure property count count and sum it oops sum it gives total handles count see so awesome right <clears throat> otherwise to calculate the sum of all the handles of a text output is going to be very difficult. I mean, it's possible, but it's not an easy task like this, right? So let's see the example thing in the help. Get help, get handle, handle examples. Well, we have got both examples, see? Get handle summary, which comes from uh, this command the output comes from description and original command comes from this original command awesome so moving on yes moving on next one is on my own innovation next one what happened not able to expand this yes god is giving me trouble Yeah, so I have done some modification because there are discussions happening on uh, uh, the problems with the inline inline code, right? Where we won't be able to test it properly. So I have done some modification, which is not official, which is just my own version, but it's uh, going to get implemented in a different way by the team. So uh, my partial team. But for my demo sake, I have created my own version and I'm going to import it. It's just a small change. Uh, I will show it. Um, let me import that. 
then I have JSON and let's see how the JSON uh, looks like file handlers it's pretty simple all same the only change is handler will be a file path handler is just going to be file path and the file is going to have same content but we can test it we can write unit tests we can test it depends on the complexity so let's define it and import the module this mm -hmm. yeah I have to define this because I have reinitiated the session this one yeah there is not going to be any difference because it's the same thing but the JSON has a change of having file handler so let's see get help get handle we have both the parameters and let's use summary because it's cute get handle summary see it's same thing so there is no change just a way of having a different way of JSON config and let me open the module to see to show the change that I've done to support this it is it is somewhere in the handler section here yep this is the line which I changed uh, this was having the space to have the code here I had just changed to have the path this will be just the file path otherwise it should have uh, space to have code here that's that's one change another change is the test handler where instead of having pass input to check the syntax it's just pass file and some parameter change to script to script path these are the only three changes to support file handlers as of now awesome yeah the syntax we have two parameters we still have two parameters even after using the new json so let me reset it to all json the original one and show one more thing so we have a json right we have json we have a commandlet here but it's generating a module right and when we say we have a module there are cases or most of the time we'll, we'll have multiple commandlets but in this case we have one json for one commandlet so how about having multiple commandlets right yes that's how it is we can have multiple JSONs for multiple commandlets so that's what I'm going to show next so I have split this uh, JSON to two JSONs one is just for the name uh, and another one is for the summary so one is for name and I have named it get handle path it's just searching a pattern right it can be anything doesn't matter so it's going to have only what is required for that right so it's like the first JSON which I've shown it's only for the path parameter it will have only the code to con uh, convert uh, uh, the default handle output this can be file handler when it supports but as of now it's not having and XML only for that and the next one is summary JSON so get handle summary I think this is a good name for this command line and it will have parameter only for summary and code only for that and of course if we have file parameters just the script path only for summary and only the help example for uh, summary switch let's see how do we create that so it's very simple for the crescendo configuration file parameter it's a it, it's it's a parameter which acts accepts array of paths array of strings so we'll just specify both the json so let me define it and i'm creating yeah it has executed let me import and see the module get module handle you can see we had two commands this time right two commands awesome we have two commands so let's open the module 
let's open the module and see how those comments are code insiders awesome let's see yep it's it's the same thing done in a for each loop one for one json with this path of this name and rest all are same and another one for this one rest all are same and the export model member exports both that's all it's very simple very simple and let's see it in action get handle summary there's no parameter summary uh, actually we don't need that sorry in this case because it's, it's for that see we have that and get handle path this time let's see notepad I don't know whether I have notepad. I should be hanging one note. It's it's executing that new command lot created from Crescendo. Yeah, it's taking time. Yes, it has one from Explore EXE and many from one note awesome but these are objects right great so yeah that's all from 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 the demo and this is a video session vod session q a chats should be open at the same time because it's a recorded one right awesome going back to the ppt where i don't have much things to uh, tell yes so in the agenda like current state of crescendo right yeah current state of crescendo and discussion i'll show it together um this is where the discussions are happening i have posted a couple of uh, questions here a lot of discussions happening a good good area to have discussions to github a new github discussions so one is about uh, whether to have json or or a PST one file or, or YAML or something else like that. So, so far JSON is used as a config file so that we can have a schema validation, but PSD one will be better, um, but doesn't support schema validation so far. And like that, a lot of discussions happening here, like the file handlers things. So if, 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 uh, uh, if you have any such questions, this is a place where we have to get started discussing those because it's in very very early stage very early stage so it's best time to get our hands on uh, share our ideas and make this uh, more mature and this is the place where we want to get started if you want to get started this is the place uh, the blog post by partial team announcing the crescendo preview version it has everything that we should know about crescendo or oh, it's it has everything which is there about Crescento and one more thing which I want to show is commands available in Crescento get module Crescent Microsoft dot PowerShell to Crescento soft PowerShell Crescento see it has a couple of commands right only command which we are going to use is export crescendo module rest of all are i had this doubt and i got cleared from discussions and these are from the early prototype which are likely to be removed but used internally i think so this is the only one which we are going to use now but things can change because it's in an early preview version that's all that's all uh, from my session hope you have uh, uh, got some insight on Crescento for uh, whoever uh, is not aware of it and yeah that's it I thank I thank for uh, organizers for hosting uh, this time summit online where uh, I got the opportunity to present and thanks for the sponsors and thanks for everyone who joined the session